What is up, nerds? This is Crash here, and we are here on a super secret project of mine to reveal the results of my subscriber contest. Uh, but first, I just want to say that, holy crap, we just reached 1,000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you guys so much. That is insane. Um, that is a lot of people watching me talk about stupid things. Um, so anyway, uh, if you direct your attention down to the description, you will see a giant list. Uh, it's either going to be a link or if it fits in the description, I'll just put it in there. But it'll be a big list, 1 through 78, of all the entrants uh, that I accepted into the contest. Um, so go down there, find your number. Uh, pause the video, do whatever you got to do, find it, and come back. I'll wait. Okay, so you're back and you did that. You better have, because that part was important. Uh, so anyway, um, I have a really bad habit of not being able to half-ass something. Uh, if, you, if you've seen Trainsaw Laser, you know this. Uh, when I get into a project, I get into a project. And I figured that I was holding a contest. It was worth it to do something kind of bigger with it. So without further ado. My subscriber contest randomizer. So a quick run through <laughs> of how this works. This ball here uh, gets teleported up to the top after pressing this button. Uh... It falls down the path, much like a Plinko machine, if you recall that. And down at the bottom here are the numbers 1 through 78. Yes, that part took a lot of time, putting the numbers in there. All this took far too much of my time. But I had to do things right. It had to be done. Uh, so anyway, it takes approximately 30 seconds for the arrow to go back and forth. Actually, what I'm going to do to make this a little more exciting is I'm going to host time scale 0.5. This slows down the game to half speed. I think it should have. Yes. Okay, so it's half speed now. So actually, it's going to take 60 seconds. Um, it'll be nice and dramatic, and it'll let, give me more time to track the ball, and it'll be fun. So anyway, this button brings up a timer that is now 1 through 60 seconds. And when that timer goes off, you'll hear a ding, and the ball will teleport up to the tip of this green arrow, and it will begin its journey down there. So, let's do this. The time scale kind of throws me off a little bit. Okay. Now, it's either going to take a long, annoying amount of time, or it's going to go really fast. <laughs> and usually, when I'm testing, it goes fast. But of course, now that I'm recording, it's going to take a while. Uh, so you hear a ding ding for like the heavy's uh, boxing glove taunt. And as soon as that goes off, the ball will drop and uh, we'll start. But of course, there it is. Okay. So it's hitting the, the round blockers. Doing some nice dramatic bounces. I swear to God, if this, if this gets caught, I'm going to just scream because I've done this in testing so many times. Oh, flying down the, the track now. Hitting the little nubs, going through the triangles. Looks like we're in the early, early numbers. And who's getting it? Who's getting it? Oh, oh, oh. Number eight. Number eight is I'm having flashbacks to Iwo Jima from FP Old Man Jenkins. So congratulations. You have won my video game <laughs> that I created. Uh, no, you, you have won uh, your message getting put on Wub 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 and Trainsaw Laser. Um, I'm actually really happy that one of the Fire Punch guys, uh, or Fire Punch, is that what it's called? Oh, God. Fire Powered, not Fire Punch. <laughs> I'm sorry. One of the Fire Powered guys got it because uh, they seem like cool people, and I'm trying to play on their server a little bit more. Uh, so anyways, I'll be putting that in the maps, uh, Trainsaw Laser, Wub Wub Wub, and any other joke map I create in the future. Uh, as soon as I do the next update for them, uh, I'm going to create it and scratch it out, uh, and put it in the map, and I will post that later on. Also, I am going to put the download to this map file in the description below, uh, as well as the VMF, because might as well open source this. It's really simple. Um, uh, if you use Hammer at all, you can load up the VMF file and check out exactly how this all works. It's really basic, um, but I, I tried to make it pretty user-friendly. I even have it set up so this button... Brings the ball back, and we can set all the timer up again and all that fun stuff. Let's watch it one more time. One more time before we go. 
because it's fun. Of course, forever. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. 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 Ding. 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 So, uh, by the way, if, if it lands on your number for this, this time, um, it means nothing. I'm sorry. You, you get to feel special. Maybe I'll, I'll say your name. How about that? You get your name said. Uh. Very dramatic roll with lots of bounces. This is, a, this is a good run. I like it when it takes a while. It makes it feel like all the work was more worth it. <laughs> oh, right in the middle this time. And who's getting it? 35. That would be Kane York. He actually didn't put a uh, description down of what he wanted to put. So he, he was just going to get his name. So Kane York, you are the runner up. You get your name said. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see more contests, uh, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Give me a like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. It's always very motivational. And if you want to see me hitting another milestone where I would do another uh, funky video or anything like that, be sure to share all my videos with your friends. Tell them to like and subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, it really helps me out. So thank you. I will see you guys in the next video.